How you guys doing today is the more welcome to my channel today I have a new video for you guys and ladies today. I want to help you guys with candles I haven't did a candle video in a minute um, I've been buying a lot of candles, but I don't really review them that much um, I want I really want you guys to let me know in the comments if you do like these candle reviews I'll do more for sure but you know i just want to give you guys what you want to see but you know i got a few candles from the labo i actually bought a few so i wanted to review them because i feel like they have great candles i used to work for trudon before and i thought they had the best candles out there and they still do and i'm going to review one but i want to review these Lalabo candles because i've been burning one and they've been so amazing um, so I want to share this with you guys so maybe you can buy some um, in the near future. All right. So today I'm going to review four candles that's the best for your home for the winter. So let's get it started. All right. So the first candle I'm going to review today is going to be Incense 9 by Lalabo. Now this candle I haven't burned yet, but I've smelled it when I purchased it and it smelled amazing. Um, the reason why I picked this candle because it's warm, it has the clove in there, has the musk in there, has some woody tones. I love candles like that. That's that warm, rich, robust scent that makes me feel cozy. After a long day of work, you want something that's going to be rich, robust, warm, um, with a little bit of cleanness to it. You don't want it too smoky. If you do like smoky candles, that's good. But this one has smokiness to it, but it's not too much, Joe. So you can burn this when you have guests over or you want um, something that's going to make you feel warm and cozy after a long day of either standing up or dealing with clients. You know, you want something that's going to kind of calm your mind. This candle has a richness to it, has a sweetness to it. Even though it's incense, it has a little sweet burn tone to it that I like. Um, the reason why I love the Labo candles is because of the vessel. The vessel is versatile. It's transparent. You can customize it, so it's great for a gift. Um, I didn't put anything on it because um, I just wanted a candle just to throw in the house. But when I gift it to someone, I'll actually put like their name or something nice, um, saying to them even if... It's like congratulations or happy anniversary, whatever you want, you can put on there. I love. And the reason why I love the Labo candles as well is the burn time. The burn time says around 60 to 70 hours, but it's even longer than that. I burn candles all the time and the oil takes forever to burn. So that's a good thing. Good thing. You could burn it for like three hours and it won't even go down that much. So I really like that a lot about Lalabo candles that the burn time is actually true. So incense is my first choice for you. Now, my second choice is going to be, hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, the Ambroxide 17. Um, I do love the another 13 scent and this is supposed to be the cousin of that scent and they made it into a candle. This candle right here is super amazing. I'm waiting for a special day to burn this. I might burn this on Thanksgiving because of the scent is so unique and different. Um, I want to kind of impress the guests that I have coming over. So I want them to smell something totally different than they usually do. Um, this one right here has some rose, rosewood, and it has musk on the base as well. They didn't really give too many notes when I looked it up. So I think they're keeping it a secret on this one, which I like. Um, so when someone asks you what's in there, you can't really give them a direct answer. You want to kind of throw them off a bit. So Ambroxide is a great choice for someone that's having guests over and they want to kind of impress them, impress them with a great scent. I think this will be a great introduction um, candle as well for La Labo because the Labo really have a lot of scents that um, matching their fragrances sometimes, like they have Santal 26, of course, um, and they have Laurier 62 that smells almost like Tay Noir a little bit to me. So it just depends on the candle that you're going for. But this one right here, I was actually surprised they did a candle for um, another 13 or something relative to it. So I had to snag that up. Everyone loves another 13. That's like one of the top sellers. So the fact that they made a candle for it was kind of dope. And um, let's see how it smells. And I know that 
when they put like 17, it has 17 notes in there um, that they don't actually tell you about. So that's really cool that they put in like multiple notes in there, but you really don't know what's in there. So it's kind of like mysterious. So I do like that a lot. And I'm excited to burn this on Thanksgiving. So let's see how it goes. All right. Now, this candle right here, I've actually started burning. Um, and this one is the Fig 15. Now, when it comes to Fig, I'm kind of on the fence about it because Fig is mainly burned in the summertime for me. Um, so I got this one, I smelled it, and it almost smelled like a Christmas tree to me, but not too piney, not too Christmas, like cinnamon. It didn't have those notes in there, but it smelled relative like a fresh forest. And that's what I loved about it. So this one right here, I burned in my bedroom already. The burn time is amazing. I burned it for probably like five hours and look at it. You can see it's barely even burned that much. Um, one thing I don't like about this so far is that it doesn't burn even and I burn it for a while. So I'm going to see what I can do because when the client, when the candle doesn't burn even, it kind of funnels and then you don't get the whole scent of it. You get a little bit of the scent because it burns in the middle and in the outskirts where it has the oils in there, it doesn't project as much. So try putting it in like, um, some sort of dome. Um, I'll put the name on the front, put your candle in that. So if like you're burning this, I mean, you're, um, have on your ceiling fan and you're burning the candle, it won't kind of mess up the flow of the burn time and how if, if it burns evenly. And also trim the wick of the candle that makes it burn even as well. And make sure that the wick is standing up straight. So kind of push it to the side or make it stand up straight um, if you're burning it so that it can burn evenly. But this scent has the black currant in there, of course. The fig is this amazing fresh scent that also is warm. So if you don't like candles that's too heavy, go with Fig 15. It's definitely hidden. I love it to death. Um, and the burn time is just is just amazing to me that I've been burning it for this long. Like I've been burning it since, I would say, what's today? Today is Monday, and I've been burning it since, I think it was Saturday or Friday, and it's been hidden ever since. You know, this uh, candle's been lasting a while. I've been burning it for like three hours at a time or four hours, and it haven't even burned uh, fully yet. When I bought Nest Candles, and it's done in like three days. <laughs> so the oils in these candles are really good, and the scent is amazing. It projects through. My room is about, I would say, like 300 square foot, and it's amazing. It smells up the whole room and in the hallways as well. So Fig 15 is my third choice for that fall, winter scent. All right? Now, last but not least, I have my Trudon. Of course, I used to work for them, so I think their candles are the best in the game, and I still think that as well. Um, I have Madeline here. Now, I'm going to unbox it for you. It comes in a beautiful box. Um, as you can see, it comes with a little cover on the top, and these are one of the best candles out there, hands down. Um, I even just opened it, and you could smell it from here. I might even burn this on... Um, Thanksgiving as well. Like I'm in, on the fence about the Embrock side or the Madeline. Let me know in the comments what you think, what candle I should burn for Thanksgiving. But um, this candle right here is rose and leather. Um, it's super sexy. It's androgynous. It's just amazing, amazing candle. Like I would burn this every day out the week and be happy. Um, the projection on um Trudon candles is amazing. Like, do not be fooled by the size of this candle. It will smell up your whole house. And I don't care if it's 900 square feet, 1,000 square foot, it doesn't matter. It's going to smell up the whole house. It's going to smell amazing. It's going to project. And the burn time, burn time on these is immaculate. Um, it's made from a champagne company in Italy, the vessel. So the vessel can be collected, which I do collect them. I have the Mary candle. I have Abdel Kader. I have multiple candles from them. And I just collect the vessels because they're so beautiful. It's like a green color. And when you burn it, it like lights up a little bit lighter. So it's just amazing candle. Um, I would say this is the best by far. Let me know in the comments if you think there's a better candle out there. I'll definitely try it. Try it. But I think Trudon stands as the Lamborghini of candles for sure. So Trudon is my pick for 
the best candle for 2023 for the winter time. But let me know in the comments what you think. And you could get any scent that you like. You could get Abdel Qadir, um, what's the other one called? Um, I'm forgetting the name right now. Um, but you can get Abdel Qadir, Sierra Nose. They have so Ernesto. I was I just remember Ernesto is one of my favorites out of there that projects the most. So definitely check out True Down Candles if you are into candles for sure. So that's the video I have for you today. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you have any of these candles? What candles are you burning for the fall winter? Um, let me know in the comments because this is candle season. We kind of tuck the diffusers to the side and we burn that candle to see the flame and smell the aroma when we're cooking and we're hanging out with our loved ones and we're just chilling for the day. Even when you're working, you could burn candles and it'll kind of do something to your mood and calm you. So definitely buy more candles for the fall and the winter and even the summer too. And let me know in the comments what you think and give this video a thumbs up if I helped you. And subscribe for more. All right. Peace.